Hi, my name is Dave Tyler. I'm an audio solutions specialist at Avid, and I want to talk about one of the new features in the latest version of Pro Tools Ultimate. So we've added a new option that allows you to bounce multiple stems into a single WAV file. This is useful for a number of reasons. You might need to deliver a 5.1 mix and an LORO stereo mix together in one file, or you might want to deliver all of your stereo stems in one file, or even all of your 5.1 stems. So we'll take a look at how you might do that. First of all, let's have a look at how you might want to bounce out 5.1 and stereo. In this session, we have stems for dialogue, music, and effects. These then feed into an M&E mix and my final print master. And then I'm using the Avid Down Mix plugin to create an LORO stereo mix. So what I want to do is to deliver the 5.1 mix and the stereo mix as a single file. So first of all, open the bounce to disc dialog, and here you will find options for bouncing. So I'm going to select the 5.1 print master as my main source. I'm now going to add the LORO stereo mix as my second source. If you now make sure that the file type is set to WAV and the format is interleaved, a new option will appear in the dialog box where I can choose to bounce to a file per source or to a single file. So I'm going to leave that option as single file. I can also choose where I want the bounce file to go, but the default is the bounce files folder in the session folder. And then I'm going to bounce this offline. So now that the bounce is complete, we can check the file in the bounce files folder in our session folder. What I can do now is open up a new Pro Tools session and then we'll import our new bounced file to see how it appears in Pro Tools. And as long as the track count is less than 32, then you can link to the original multi-channel WAV file. So you can see as we drop the file into the clip list, Pro Tools separates it out into the original 5.1 and stereo mixes. So let's have a look at one more example. This time I'm going to bounce my dialogue, music and effects stems together with the M&E and the print master all in a single file. So I've selected them all as my bounce sources in the bounce dialogue, then I'll bounce them down. So let's try bringing those into a new Pro Tools session. So you can see as I import them, Pro Tools separates them back to their original 5.1 file. And as I drag and drop them into the timeline, Pro Tools will create 5.1 tracks for them. I hope that you found this useful. For more information, go to avid.com.